Good afternoon, LC people. Now, that's right. My post the other day, I saw the one out up there. Yeah, it's gone. The guy who wanted his date of birth up there. 14th of 10th, 65. 1965 went in there. Now, yeah, I think people think these things are expensive. Uh, there was last year. I'm trying to do them for the right money, but, you know, what's a used clock cover worth? 30, 40 quid? I know new ones are 60 quid. And people say, oh, you can you can put a new one on it. Uh, there's that little baby. Do all that. Then I've got to put the glasses in. I have to buy the glasses, the covers, the odd board, the movements, that thing. Uh, cut up those things with the Dremel to put the numbers in there. It all takes a long time. I've been on this five hours now. Um, all I've got to do is put, obviously, the, the arms on for the movements and the batteries in it and sort out the back where it screws together. So another roll for it to hang on the wall and all that kind of junk. So that thing's a pain in the arse because you want it to look genuine, don't you? So it's cutting the nuns up with a Dremel and making them flat and uh, putting them on there behind the face there with uh, double-sided tape. So it looks pucker. A lot of these cubs I've got are used and this one is a good one. Uh, the next one's a good one. The rest of them are like... They're all separated here and there around the bits and pieces, you know. It doesn't take five minutes to do them. And I think some people think this sound expensive, bit of man cave stuff. Yeah, and I agree with you. But, you know, if somebody said to you, um, can you work all for, for a day for a bowl of rice and a packet of fags? Would you do it? You'd be insulted, wouldn't you? So when people say this, that and the other, it's a specialised hand-built, hand-made thing with Yammer or Parts. Great shout-out to Simon Wells. He provided some of these last year. Bless him. Love Simon. He's uh, he's just a clock guru. But, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, folks. The price is what it is. I'm not doing anybody. I'm not uh, making a massive amount of money out of them. When I've got new bikes today, I will make these. But if I can get the process quicker, got to remember I've got to get the glasses from old clocks or put perspex in them, get the odd board, get the movements, get the light thing, get the covers and spend like five or six hours at least making them. And uh, people think it's so uh, rude and expensive. And uh, someone said the other day, after my post yesterday, oh, they look like a skeggy tap. They ain't worth shit. Well, my apologies for that. But what it is is what it is. You go and build one then. Uh, let's see what you can do. If the parts are free, great. But you still got to spend time doing them. And it don't come for nothing. Uh, I wouldn't expect anybody work for nothing. And... Uh, they're very spoke, they're very unique, they're hand built by Dilly Dilly Dave. Excuse me, it's fell over. He wouldn't want one of them. 120 quid posted. You know, I'll suck up the things. I've got the bits, like I said yesterday, to make six or eight. I think this one, there's another seven left to do, but the covers aren't as good as this. They're made from used parts, so don't expect brand new like uh, time pieces what all I do because that ain't going to happen is it be respectful in your comments and don't be rude and imagine you wouldn't work for fuck all now would you and you've got to buy the bits you've got to spend the time making them so anyway rant over thanks for watching dilly dilly